How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I review a lot of products and services on this channel and I take it as one of my responsibilities is to continually review all the products and services even though I finished making the video already. So for example, if later on I find out that a product or service is really, really bad for one reason or another, I really need to go back to that video, flag it, and let people know to um, watch this current updated video to know that yes, I no longer rep recommend a certain product or service. Now one of the earliest video I did was actually a review on Freedom Pop service. It's like a cell phone service that you can actually get for free every single month. But what's happened lately is that they've been trying to nickel and dime everybody to the point where you're actually not getting anything for free. They're actually to the point where every single month they're charging you about $15 and at the same time they're gonna go in there and try to trick you into signing up for various services for example on their app uh, it's really easy to click on something and sign up or for something and you wouldn't even realize it because I actually did that by accident one time and I actually have to unsubscribe for you know some extra voicemail service or extra uh, protection of something that really isn't of value. So my main cell phone is actually Freedom Pop. I get one gigabyte of data. Normally you only get 500 megabytes. And if you sign up various Freedom Pop friends, you can add another 500. So I essentially get one gigabyte of LTE data and every single month is actually free. If you go over, then you pay something like $20 per gigabyte. So you really need to just use up the free stuff and don't use any more and you kind of allot yourself to um, just using to the limit every single month. On top of that, I have these USB modems where you can plug into your laptop. Each one is also 500 megabytes and I added 500 more so, so each one is one gigabyte of usage every single month. But lately, these guys have been very troublesome. Here's a statement I got for one of these devices. I think I've had these for about two or three years where essentially I can use this um, on mobile. You know, I can be mobile and use it, plug it into a laptop and I get free data. In the beginning, as long as you don't go over your total limit, they're not going to charge you anything. They have this automatic top up thing. So it used to be if you have a credit of under $10, they would top it up another ten dollars that's okay that's fair then about six to nine months ago they changed it to where you actually have to log into the account or else your credit becomes inactive whatever amount of money you have in there it'll become inactive so it'll, it'll zero out and then they would go oh you have zero in there let's charge you another ten dollars so they keep on um, expiring your account on purpose and then putting money in then about six months ago they changed the top up amount from ten dollars to fifteen dollars well, that's also okay. Then about three months ago, they changed it to a thing where your account has to have activity in, in terms of it has to charge something, okay? So if you don't use any of the credit, okay, you're not gonna have a charge. So you actually have to go over your total amount. So for example, if you have one gigabyte, you need to use a little bit over and make sure your credit goes down a little bit. So you spend like 25 cents, 50 cents, $1, $2 or something like that so that there's some activity. As long as there's activity within uh, every 30 days, then they're not gonna charge anything. Now about a month ago, they changed to something more heinous, which is they actually have to credit your account every 90 days. So you're not gonna get away with just crediting it, your account maybe once or twice a year so you only pay 15 or 30 dollars so no matter what you do to keep your account active they're still gonna charge you account because even if you go over the one gigabyte you're gonna have a deduction from your credit that does not count anymore uh, to satisfying that your account is active what counts is that there's a charge uh, in terms of adding credit to your account. So every single time they add a credit, it's another $15. So they change it to a where a minimum is going to be about $60 a year. Now, if you look on the surface of these rules, eh, it's okay. It's kind of like not very worth it anymore because if you have a device, uh, it's one gigabyte, you use it sometimes just, you know, if you're out and there's no internet, then $60 for a device per year, that might be okay. But what they currently do is, as you can see from this statement, at 6.30 in the morning, they actually purposely expired your credit. You can see within 90 days, there was actually a credit event, which means 
they should not have expired it. It was active. Credit was being spent every single month on this and yet they purposely went in there and expired the credit so there was like, I don't know, like 30 some dollars in here and they expired it which caused it to go to zero and then that afternoon at 1 p.m. they go, oh, you have nothing in there. Let's charge you another $15. So what I've seen across these three devices is that they purposely expire your credit and then they purposely go and charge it. So essentially they turn these free Freedom Pop devices into a paid device where every single month you're paying $15 for one gigabyte of data. I can see from my previous video on Freedom Pop that a lot of people are against the service already because they got charged left and right for you know strange services or, or whatever. But in the beginning, they were okay. If you're able to maneuver around this, if you like do certain things, but they keep on changing the rules. They don't tell you what the rules are. I kind of, the, these rules that I showed you is I figured out myself in order to avoid the fee, but it's gotten to the point where no matter what you do, you cannot avoid the fee. So I, I really have to give up on these Freedom Pop devices because if they're gonna charge me $15 per month for these one gigabyte of data, you know, it, it's just not worth it. So I hereby unrecommend Freedom Pop and I don't recommend using them at all. I'm gonna go back to my previous video and warn everybody with, you know, uh, annotation or whatnot to show people that, you know, this, this service, it's just gone downhill. It's gone from, you know, okay, tolerable for me, tolerable, tolerable, you know, getting worse and worse until just, you know, this month recently that it's so bad that it's actually not saving you any money at all from, using this free service. Based on the behavior of this company, I believe they're based in Los Angeles from what I can see in their contact information. You used to be able to go into their support page and ask for a refund whenever they did something, you know, kind of iffy, but I can no longer find that link anymore. So they kind of like did away with it. They're not gonna have any support. So even if you get charged $15 accidentally, you're not gonna have a way of getting it back. They used to, um, do a refund if they there's some problem or something it used to be pretty bad as well But at least they were responding to it now They completely did away with the support. So I don't know what's going on. It seems like they're hurting for money or something because When a company tries to charge their customer more and more at more and more unreasonable methods um, Especially to the point where they're actually charging people they're nulling people's account manually and then charging people it seems like they're running out of money or something so i wouldn't be surprised if these guys go under pretty quickly certainly they are losing me as a customer and um, i'm gonna try to you know wean off of uh using these items i probably don't need them anymore so there you go as a consumer advocate i feel that it's very important for me to point out good products as well as terrible products and even more important that if I previously recommended something and like in this case, it turned sour, I really have to um, urgently tell everybody in case uh, my subscribers, whoever um, subscribed to this product, um, you know, they, they really need to watch out for it in the future. So that's it for the unreview of these products and the cell phone service. Don't forget to give me a like over here, comment down below, let me know if previously you subscribed to this Freedom Pop because I recommended it. And I hope that this helps. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.